This story appears in the March 22, 2015 issue of Forbes Asia. Subscribe to Forbes Asia Go Peng Ui has been selling software to banks for more than 25 years, but he's much more comfortable talking about math or philosophy than business. I probably should have been a professor, he says. No matter. His Silver Lake Axis, based outside Kuala Lumpur, is on a tear. The stock price has more than quadrupled since early 2012, making it one of Southeast Asia's most valuable technology companies. And since Go owns two-thirds, that made him Malaysia's first and only tech billionaire last year. Now he boasts a net worth of $1.55 billion, up 41% in a year. But the affable and quirky engineer is certainly no plutocrat. We don't often get invited back to dinner, he laughs, joking that he has the social skills of a mathematician when asked about being a billionaire and the social obligations that go with it. Actually, he adds, it's not so hard to lead a billionaire's life. It's easier to have things than not to. Silver Lake Axis' business model is simple, it licenses its software to banks, has its engineers install it and collects a recurring maintenance fee. The company isn't big, it expects to tally just $156 million in revenue for the year ending June 30th. But the market swoons over its net profit margins, which reach close to 50%, and seems to be assuming 30% to 40% growth in net profits in the years ahead. Even bad news doesn't derail its performance for long. In January, when word got out that the $180 billion merger between three of Malaysia's largest banks had collapsed meaning that integration work everyone expected Silver Lake Axis to get wasn't going to happen the share price dropped 7.5% before trading was halted. Within days it rebounded. Still, some analysts are pulling back. The company is still strong fundamentally, but the market growth assumptions are just a little high, says Jarek Seat at OSKDMG, who downgraded the stock from neutral to sell in November. Go agrees. The company suggests only a 15% rise in net profits this year. And he says that new business may be harder to come by now that most banks in the region are already customers or firmly in a competitor's camp. But as Seat and others point out, barriers to entry are high, and customers have already invested much and aren't likely to make a switch. Go, 60, grew up in Butterworth in Penang, the son of a butcher. The seventh of ten children, he early on showed a love of learning that propelled him out of a working-class life. He was the only one in his family to go to college, earning a scholarship from the Japanese government to study at the University of Tokyo, starting with nuclear physics and later switching to electrical engineering. He went to work for IBM, moving quickly up the ranks to head its Asia Banking Solutions Group by the late 1980s. Witnessing how banks were using, or not using, technology, he saw an opportunity.